Today, our lesson 12-2, we are going to be simplifying polynomials. First thing when you want to simplify polynomials is you have to determine which terms are like terms. We talked about like terms before. Like terms are terms that have the same variables raised to the same powers. In this example, you have um, three terms. Two of the terms are like terms. We've got this 4 a cubed e squared and this negative 2 a cubed b squared. They are like terms. They have the same variables raised to the same power. There is an unlike term in here, and it looks like it's a like term because it has the same variables, but the powers are different. The a is raised to the second power, and the b is raised to the third power. So they are not the same exponents, so they are not like terms. Let's do a few examples. We have to just identify the like terms in this uh, polynomial. And so first we want to think about the terms that have the same variables, and then make sure they have the same power also. So we have the 5a, 5x cubed and the 4x cubed. They are like terms, circle in red. And then we have the y squared and the negative 6y squared. Now, I like to include the negative sign or the subtract sign in front of the coefficient with the like term because really that's a negative 6. I want you to think of it like that. And then we have a constant 2, which has no variable, and there's only one constant, so there are no like terms. So the like terms are 5x cubed and 4x cubed, and another set of like terms is y squared and negative 6y squared. Oh, good, they do do that in the slot. They do call it a negative 6. Good. Now, example B, we have a 3a cubed b squared plus a 3a squared b cubed plus a 2a cubed b squared minus a cubed b squared. So our like terms are the 3a cubed b squared matches the 2a cubed b squared and the negative 1. Remember, if there's no number in front of the variable, that's assumed to be a 1 or a negative 1. And then the other term there doesn't have a pair, so we have the like terms, 3a cubed b squared, 2a cubed b squared, and a negative a cubed b squared. Remember, you can pause at any time if you need to. Okay, let's identify the like terms in this polynomial. We have uh, 7 times b cubed Q squared plus 7 times P squared Q cubed, it's hard to say, plus 7 times P Q raised to the second power. Now, um, as I look across at the variables here, uh, P cubed, there's a P squared, and there's a P. So just by looking at those variables with their exponents, there are no like terms. It doesn't really matter about the Qs because the p's don't match. Both variables have to have matching exponents or powers, so there are no like terms in this example. Okay, moving on. Now, once you identify your like terms, then you can combine them and simplify the polynomial. This first example has um, your like terms already grouped together. So we're just going to be adding those like terms. So I'm going to highlight my like terms, 4x squared plus 2x squared. Those are like terms. We have another set of like terms. The constants here are 7 and 9. They don't have a variable. They're constants, so they're like terms. And then the negative 6x kind of stands alone. And um, make sure you include that negative sign with the 6x. That's a negative 6x. So when you have some like terms, you can add them together. You add the coefficients together, so 4 plus 2 is 6x squared. 
Now, when you simplify polynomials, you are supposed to write the variable as a descending order of exponents. So instead of writing the constant next, I'd, I'd, I would actually write the negative 6x term next. And so then it would go x squared and then down to x. And then I would put the constant at the end, plus 16. So we have 6x squared plus a negative 6x plus 16. This next example, a little bit more complicated. We don't have the like terms side by side. So I like to first identify my like terms. So we have uh, 3 times n to the 5th, m to the 4th, and we have a n to the 5th and m to the 4th here. Another set of like terms is this negative 6 n cubed m and a negative 8 n cubed m. And then um, if you would like, you can add at this point, add your like terms, you'd be adding these two and these two together. Or, if it makes it easier for you, you can rearrange them, use the commutative property, and rearrange them and put your like terms side by side. Be careful that you include the negative signs with the terms that have a subtract sign. I just change it to adding a negative, or you could just write subtract either way but that negative sign goes with the term after it, the subtract sign goes with the term after it, so be careful with that. Then you add your coefficients. Now, in front of this n to the fifth is a 1, so we add the 1 and the 3, and we get 4 n to the fifth, m to the fourth, plus we have a negative 6 and a negative 8, so that would be a negative 14 n cubed m. Now, sometimes when you simplify a polynomial, you have to use the distributive property. And we've studied the distributive property before, but remember when you have a number times a quantity in parentheses, you have to multiply the number times all the terms inside the parentheses. And so in this case, we would have 3x cubed plus 3 times 5, 15x squared. And then, if you have any like terms, you could add. In this case, I do not. We have x cubed and x squared. They are not like terms, so this would be my final answer. another one with, that I have to use the distributive property with. We have a negative 4 times the quantity here, so I'm going to multiply the negative 4 times both terms in the parentheses. So we have a negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12 m cubed n plus negative 4 times 7, negative 28 m squared n, and then I write my final term here that's left over at the end. Now you go through and you look for any like terms. And so we have a negative um, 28m squared n, and that is a like term with just 1m squared n. And then we have the standalone negative 12m cubed n plus negative 28 and a positive 1, so that would be a negative 27m squared n. And that's simplified as far as it can go. Here's your lesson quiz. I would like you to try these five examples at home, and uh, we'll go over them tomorrow or the next day, whenever I see you again, and we'll also do our classwork.
on this and be able to help each other. So have a good evening, and I will see you next day in class.